We're about to start the show, but my auntie's in the call me. Because I just spoke to her. So, um, I've got a feeling, I don't know if I should put my phone on airplane mode or wait for Marnie to call. Either way, Greg's not here. Where's Greg? He's editing filthy. Oh. Oh. Greg, man. I miss Greg. I miss where he needs to ties his trousers at the ankles because <laughs> he likes karate, kid. <laughs> Dear four house things, man. Yeah, you still got that link with Madhouse? He's the only guy that gets Madhouse clothes from Madhouse whilst Madhouse is closed. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Felix! This guy never checks, he never checks the length of jeans. <laughs> only, only the waist 32 that's it but if it's 66 he would just keep folding it folding it folding it now his ankles I've got hula hoops around it <laughs> and Charlotte last time she was sitting here anyone that wears bright blue jeans in 2021 I'll fix the howler bright blue sky blue jeans nah T no way it's not 2001 comedian air times and all that no way <laughs> why are you so against your microphone is it am I against it today oh because I'm dressed up as a microphone that's why <laughs> oh yes yes people that's right yep yep you saw me get onto Geordie for wearing a towel well I'm wearing one too and it Tigo said I look like a mic because you know my hairstyle I've got the afro going on and stuff and there's no rules man there's not a single rule no. but I like it I think it's dropping T did it drop when Geordie did it he's on the same colour as a cow <laughs> Geordie's one's the same colour as a cow. <laughs> What's the colour as a cow in your mind? Uh, cream. <laughs> that was the cows I saw in my books. Tigo, speaking of books, quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried something new in my, in my spare time. Reading. Audio reading. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what have you been audio reading? So basically, I just cross my legs, I go to a station, and I listen to a guy read a book to me. I close my eyes, I try and imagination. Because it helps with my imagination. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. But the book the guy was reading to me was called Critical. <laughs> where did you, wait. Uh, okay, I want to get into the details. <laughs> where, wh where did you discover this? How did you get to it? T, I was watching Undertaker, Joe Wogan, and I just got lost. And I found myself on Sky listening to an audio book. I just saw Critical. And the guy was reading it to me. But the only thing is I left the building after, you know, 10 minutes when I realised the book was about intensive care. <laughs> the medicine they use in intensive care, that was the book. So I said, I'm out of here. But audio book, apparently, T, I did my research. It helps with your imagination. Of course it does, yeah. Reading helps as well. Reading helps more. No, you read to me. <laughs> use that voice and read to me. <laughs> you read to your kids. Ha, I, I'm glad you brought that up. My daughter's not happy with the way I read to her. Why? Because I don't read with rules. Right. I don't use the full stops. <laughs> <laughs> I stop before the full stop. Before he went, there's a big gap. And then the next part comes yeah, okay, So yeah. now she's lost. <laughs> but when somebody else reads to her, it's the voice going up and down. It's proper. I can't do all of that to you. You can, but you won't. No, to you. I, sometimes I don't even see the full stop. <laughs> Miles. I don't even know when, I, when, 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 when someone reading raises their voice, what's, like, I don't understand how and they know. So Mark says, oh, how did you get there? Wait, hold on, why are you shouting? <laughs> this is fundamental grammar. Yeah, but I went to school, I did, I, I don't remember this fundamental grammar. Exclamation points and question marks. There was no, that's what I'm saying, there wasn't no, ex that's, the, that's the long one with the dot at the bottom. Yeah. It wasn't there. I don't know, but maybe I just need to, I need to go back to school and just do some research on that. But I'm working on my imagination to you, man. You should read. Because I, 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 like I said, that's part of being creative. It Idea, is. execute. It's, it's the whole thing of being creative, yeah. Mm. It's having an imagination, being able to picture the results of your actions. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to suggest to you to try this book critical. Check it out. And the, and the, the author is a, an award winning. That always means something, you know what I mean? Can you listen to this on Sky? You can, and on, on, on radio. <laughs> Sky's got, you know, they ain't got babe station anymore and all that kind of stuff. So before that, there's loads of radio stations. So you were listening to like Radio 2 or something? Yeah, Radio 2. Well, one of, radio 4. It was a middle class. Radio middle 4 class. does. Middle class. It was definitely a guy that went eaten. <laughs> because the way he was pronouncing words. I love the way these former Eton students pronounce words. Terrific. Because, ha, 
However. <laughs> Amazing. I don't say it like that. When I say it, my daughter's like, huh? Okay, I messed up here. So you've been busy. <laughs> See, I've been super <laughs> busy. Where do you want to start? <laughs> the Undertaker and Joe Rogan interview. I watched the highlights. We'll, we'll get to that, I All reckon, right. for Remember Wrestling. Because okay, I haven't cool. seen that. So I'm interested in hearing what, what you think about that. So um, when after you know I did the book stuff, I said to myself, you know what? I was disappointed that, as you said, my, my grandma is not what it's meant to be. It's not like my family's grandma. Some of my family weren't even born. Yeah, and I was, allegedly. So in my head, I thought, you know what? I want my kids to speak English to me in a way where it's posh or no There's a lot, There are a lot of people like that, yeah, who want their kid, their second, third generation, they want their kids to have like that Queen's English. So I went on to eat a registration form. T, I'm doing it. I'm putting my kids in that school. Do you they'll pass the test? So they've got to do an IQ test and a maths test. But I've got, they, they've got now till they reach 10 and a half and it's only 11 and a half thousand pounds, which you are going to help pay. If you, if, if, look, if, if your kids pass the Eton examinations, we will find that money, no question. Yes, yeah, so I noticed there's a lot of, a lot of black boys from South. People like from Brixton, from Camberwell, who are parents have got good jobs, mm. but they still live in the States, no rules. There are fancy to, parts of these yeah. areas now. Brixton's got very fancy areas. They go to that school, man. And that's, that, that for me- How like, do you know they're from Brixton? Because they, there's, there's clips. If you, if you type in Eaton former students on YouTube, right. people don't type that. That's, that's me, imagination, but do it though. <laughs> um, you will see. You will see that there's a lot of people who have made videos talking about Eaton. T, man, this is a, it's a big boy school. I mean, Princess Diana took her kids there, Prince Charles and Prince William. It's a big boys. I want my kids to go there. Tammy Abraham went to my school. T, I was just about to run off. I thought you were going to say Tammy Abraham went. <laughs> no, that would be mad, yeah. So is he in a boarding school? Do you have to board there? I don't think you have to board there, no. I right. think you can board at Eton mm. because people send their kids there from outside London. But I don't think it's a, I don't think you have, I think if you live in London, you can live at home, go to, go to school. Do you know what I like? I don't know that for sure. Mm. I just try and posh people in private schools. That's kind of how, normally how it would work. Do you know what I like, though, T? You see me, I have no qualities. I can't make a table from Ikea. I can't do nothing. You got no what? I can't make it. If, if I went to Ikea now. Do you say you got no qualities? I got no qualities in terms of, oh. you know, uh, external. Does that make, that make sense? No. Um, I've, got, I've got built-in skills in here. All right, you got no, like... Yeah, like sellable yeah. trades. Yeah, skills. my kids are yeah. gonna be like, oh, you know what? My dad can pick up a bus. Yeah, oh, yeah. people think, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one thing about Eton is you got people in there that are members of parliament. Yep. People that find gold in mad countries, astronauts. You've got top people there. Yeah. So when my kids get older, they're gonna tell their friends, my dad's friends with so and so and so and so and so and so. Because that's the relationship I'm gonna build when they go to that school. And for me, that is key. I mean, they'll be, they'll be saying I'm friends with, you'll still be friends with issues. Rana, no Dazza. way in, no way in hell. <laughs> Miles. You're, you're telling me I'm going to watch my uh, 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 daughter in Eton perform. Let's just say in the theater, because I know they got a built-in theater there, yeah? 60,000 seats capacity, I know, I know, yeah? So let's say I'm there. And I meet someone that tells me I make aeroplanes or I was the reason that Concords don't exist anymore. <laughs> you think I'm going back to Daza? That's a new link. Do you know where I'm coming from? To do what? Do you mean to do what? A guy, he, he's the reason why Concords don't exist. <laughs> I need, well, I need help because i got a friend called Critical and Heady One. I need that type of Concord not to exist anymore, T. Speaking of Concords, <laughs> okay. speaking of Concords, okay. T, yep. I said this today to my family. When you were young, do you remember looking up in the sky and seeing what we used to call in my area a jumbo jet? 
<laughs> okay. But, sure. But the real name for it is an airship. I don't remember ever seeing an airship. What's going on? This, I, I, I've been asking everyone. You're telling me when we was to play in the flats back in the day, you never see jumbo jets and they used to be very slow in the air. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think they were just planes. I don't think I, uh, maybe we would have said jumbo jets. Yeah, my memory's not good for that sort of thing. Like airship. Airship, like a, yeah, like like a, a bulbous plane kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, I guess but I it didn't used to look see like those. a plane. It was like, I don't want to say who I think it looks like because we already know, but you know, like <laughs> the sky looks smaller <laughs> <laughs> because of this object in the air. Where have they gone? I can't answer that. Well, good, because I went and done my research on that as well. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, back in the day, we used to have airships, right? Okay. And obviously, passengers on the airship um, used to... So obviously, in planes, we, have, we sit on little uh, seats and stuff. Mm. Back in the day, these passengers used to have cubicles with a bed. They used to have a bar. So it was like when we, we spoke with Snoozy Chai about the cruise ship. This is what they used to have on jumbo jets back in the day. These, these are absolute facts. They've got them on jets now. No, no jets now are gone. 757. I want to say 757. I, I flew that, the inaugural flight from London to Atlanta. What? And it had a club in the middle of it. And um, Rudimental DJed in this club in the middle of a plane. Yeah, I got Rudimental on, on my flight. Instagram now. Don't make me call it. To that. ask them. I was there. See, if you took. See, this is, this is what I'm saying. If you would have told me all of this. I wouldn't be scared to fly. I don't know what to say. I don't know why that would impact your reasons what? to be scared to fly. What, T, watching all these planes fall because, you know, obviously this uh, 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 aeroplanes from hell program I used to watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm bravo. <laughs> Flights from hell, yeah. But yeah, I never saw no plane that was built like the one you went on drop. So that would have changed my whole mind frame. Yeah, yeah. They, they, but even... Um, Craig just flew out to Mexico. He flew a business class at least. He had a little bed situation, a little cubicle. You never flown first class or business yeah, class? I've, yeah, I've, I've flown business class and there was a little bed, but it was still, it was still, the bed wasn't, you no, know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't, it, levels. it was a single, like, yeah. it wasn't a. No, 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 yeah, there's high levels. Premium sofas, beds, rooms, all of that. So basically that was all my thinking time. And this is, this is where I was at. I went from the Critical Book yeah. to Concords. Yeah. Obviously, The Undertaker's podcast, because it's two it's hours. In, there, yeah. in and out, in and out, in and out. But all of this just had my brain ticking and ticking, and it ended up with me clapping for Saka because of his performance yesterday. So nothing makes sense, but I love where I'm at today. Feeling good. T, I have to. Because if this goes on, The Undertaker was saying, when I will talk about it later, this can go on for five years this whole lockdown stuff. So let me just expand my imagination, even yeah. if it makes, doesn't make sense. Yeah, you know, I, listen, I'm trying not to think about it in general. Just switch off from it. Can't think about it. And then I, I messaged you as well about Congo when I watched a you know, few doc uh, documentaries about Congo. Yes, because of uh, Lukaku and Zlatan. <laughs> All my groups just said, who would win in the fight? Well, it don't matter. Rwanda owns Congo from what I've done. But Issues told me I'm not allowed to talk about it. And it was Issues' birthday yesterday. Issues, happy birthday, my brother. Um, and I'm going to try and make sure that I don't say any more stories about you back in there because you do not like the internet. <laughs> That's because, like the internet. It's because he's managed to keep the news of Rwanda owning Congo off the internet this far. I just, sorry, but I just watched the, the, the Laurent, is it the Laurent Kabila documentary. Very interesting. But Did you watch the Rwanda versus Togo highlights yesterday? Do you know what, T? Because you told me um, that the views was on 24 at the time. <laughs> yeah, well, they were. I thought, oh, let me wait till it goes up. <laughs> but I haven't, but I saw the score and I saw all uh, the Rwandans celebrating at half time. Oh, sorry, at full time. So, I want to big up the Rwandans actually because you told me that in Africa, no rules is being big. watched yeah, yeah, by yeah. many countries. Yeah, yeah, it's all over. Togo, it's in Togo. Big it's in Kenya. Togo. Big in Kenya. Kenya? Yeah, big in Rwanda. Do you think issues is the reason why it's big in Rwanda? Even though he doesn't like the internet? 
That's interesting. Yeah, maybe if he's listening to it out there, sharing it about. Oh, if that's the truth, bro, we've got to drop more stories on this. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to drop more stories on this shoes, man. All right, we've got no guest today. Back to keeping it simple. Every now and then we'll break it up. Mm. Just do a one-on-one. Yeah. Because obviously we want to hear more about your lifestyle. Because this, this is an era where no rules is hard to interpret. Mm, true. there's no outside, really. Mm, mm. But you still can live the no rules lifestyle in your house. Of course. Is your house fed up of you, Tigo, by the way? 100%. So your walls are looking at you like, listen. I'm so, uh, yeah. I, I'm sick of it. It's sick of me. It's, yeah. Change it. Paint it. No, I don't own it. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm trying to get out September. Do minimal de- damage, get my deposit back. You want to live together? No. T, you said that too far. You <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't live with anybody, but no, nah, I, I wouldn't live with you, no. Huh? I, I mean, if, if I owe you money, I'll leave the money on the bed. On the bed, yeah, back. no thanks. <laughs> no? <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> You're a cunt. Uh, no, I've lived with people before. I didn't. Uh, I figured out that it's not for me. Yeah, I lived with and, them. And um, you are up at all hours of the night mm. and uh, you entertain every single Instagram DM you get. Mm. And uh, I'm sure you voice note into 5 a.m. So I would hate living with you. You'd have to live on that wing of the house and I'd have to live on the other yeah, wing of true. the house. It's true. When when me and Des are in a group and he sends a voice note in, but I can hear it live. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the same. Because exactly. voice notes are powerful. They are. You they and are. Lippy, like yesterday, were so funny. Yeah. But if you were in the room, I'd be like, boys, shut it's up. Terrible, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, because you never know what's coming. You press play going, this could be good. Yeah. yeah. And then Lumos puts one in and you go, oh. Lumos breaks up play all the time. <laughs> he does. Always, man. <laughs> Guys, um, yeah, 16% up on uh, crypto. <laughs> and then his next match after is agreed. No one, <laughs> no one said anything. <laughs> you, you're, you're talking to yourself. He's probably one of the worst group members I've ever seen. Ever seen on WhatsApp, ever. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> he's there, you know. He's there. Yeah, he has to, yeah, yeah, he has to be there. And he helps everyone with their Bitcoin problems. He just posted a link to his blog. Yeah. I called him about, um, I was playing Grand Theft as well the other day. Just, I've got a PlayStation sitting there. I just thought, let me just play Grand Theft. Started playing and I was like, this is boring because I've clocked it. So I said, oh, Lumos, how can I just start shooting a gang? Just get into war. He goes, oh, you got to play online. Come online. He goes, I'm going to WhatsApp you this thing. T. <sighs> mm-hmm. I just turned my phone off. Turned the game off. <laughs> Turn the game off. <laughs> it's so simple, but you just you no it's no T no T man. I'm old school T. T I'm old school. I man. agree with you. I don't I don't do it. Double seven and sixty four. You think you got you think people got WhatsApp you for anything? T. I agree. We got a new sixty five inch TV. So I'm pointing at the microphone because you you won't you keep talking past your microphone. Oh oh so you oh you just sent me that you you said the TV but you're pointing at the microphone. No 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 the C- TV's downstairs. Yeah, which microphone? This one or that one? <laughs> We've got a new 65 inch TV downstairs, mm. and we keep forgetting to like bring Nintendo Switch, play some Mario Kart, mm. Nintendo 64. I don't, I don't think that's here anymore. But we, everyone just plays FIFA. I've got your wire, by the way. I, well, I know, yeah. I bought another one. That's bad, you know. You borrowed me a wire, and you had to go and buy another one without even asking me that you need a wire back because you know I can't give you the wire now because I have to use it <laughs> for other things. <laughs> the microwave's off. <laughs> That's what Africans we do. We start, <laughs> we, <laughs> we start using the wire with other things in the house. <laughs> anyway, Tigo. So I've got an auntie called Muna. Auntie Muna. I think if you if I Auntie Muna is a bigger character than Auntie Fanta. Ooh, oh, actually, wow. that's that's it's tight. Auntie Muna, Auntie Fanta. But they're both on it. So Auntie Muna got me a present got me a Christmas present, you know. Um, and she said, I got you a mankoop. I was like, what's that? It's just Arabic footwear to go with the, uh, with the long jalabiya she bought. She bought me, okay, cool. So I thought, T, I want to show you in the no rules crowd. Markoop. So this is made out of leopard skin. <laughs> but if you touch it, static electricity. <laughs> So I think she electrocuted the leopard when she caught it. <laughs> but the, the worst part of the shoes, T. I put my foot in these shoes. 
and my nail got stabbed <laughs> right on the hairline. You're laughing to you like I'm joking. Let me find it. <laughs> oh no, maybe I told to cut it. So T, there was this basically blade pointing this way. So when you put your foot in, good dish. <laughs> It's a nail scar as well. <laughs> T, have a go. <laughs> have a go, T. It's luckily it's not actually leopard. She said it was though, T. No, you heard on the said, phone. She said the original was a leopard. Have you have you felt the bottom? Yeah. And have you seen the middle, T? <laughs> Look at the sole. Yeah. What? That's a nice gift. That's a very nice gift. Now, let me ask you this, T. It looks a bit like an angry beaver. <laughs> T, let me ask you this. Dagger knob. Do you think I would wear these? Um, you, will, you will one day wear those, yes. Okay, cool. So that means you know me really well. <laughs> but we need to think about giving this to a guest that has to wear it, that comes on. So bear that Someone in mind. Someone in the same shoe size as you. Oh, T. There ain't no shoe size on this. <laughs> There ain't no shoe size on this. If you've got socks, take the socks off. If you ain't got socks, cut your toes off. You've got to make it work somehow. <laughs> Sorry, Felix, man. You always got to check the length of the jeans when you're buying them, bro. <laughs> now, Felix, for you, I mean, your jeans can just cover the whole shit bang regardless. <laughs> Felix, are you waiting for you? Nah, it's cool. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, my, my trainers have got a baddie on today. <laughs> Felix, shut the love, man. 66 and 32. That, that's just not a match, bro. <laughs> You're not that tall. That <laughs> <laughs> class. Oh, man. So, yeah, that was from my team winner, man. So, should we get into some serious Sundays? Of course we can, man. <laughs> Now, this first comment comes from Lennon Taylor, and we have it every episode, but I just want to address it for a specific reason. Am I the only one who used to think Specs and Ty from AFTV were the same person? Mm. So that's the, it's an interesting one because this Ty and Specs has been going on for years. years now, yeah. But I think to get me and Ty mixed up, just means that, yeah, you people are super blind. You lot need more glasses than me and Ty. Okay, so now I'll tell my story. I was with him the other day. Dan was there, Miles was there, Margs was there, Loons was there. Felix Greg DFR. And nice guy. Oh, lo love. He's been to my house. Yeah. Lovely guy. I, I don't like when people are rude about him. He's no, a he's nice a, guy. No, of course. There was a point when I turned around. And I thought, Specs ain't supposed to be here. And I thought, fuck. Wow, okay. Let me make sure I don't make that mistake again. And it was because it was what he was wearing and because the beard was just out and he had glasses on. It's maybe a bit racist. But then... Racism don't exist. Then <laughs> we, I put the video up of Loons and him arguing and a lot of people were like, for that respect, for that respect, and I think maybe that's a joke. Maybe people are going for the joke. Yeah, I love it. I love Ty. As long as I'm not claws, it's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I get it. I made that mistake. I didn't make the mistake thinking that's actually specs, but for, for a split right. second, I was like, oh, right, I get what you're saying. S Shadow wise, peripheral vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peripheral vision, that's all it was. That's specs. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I peripheral vision look like Ty. Yeah, yeah. Ty peripheral vision. Now, when like you, you zoom in, yeah, and you store me, yeah. So you've looked at my nose, eyes. Nah, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, I'm buff. Like this is the thing. There's a lot of girls now, yeah. They watch me, and they laugh. Oh, this guy's funny. But then now, now they're zooming in. They realize, oh, hold on, he's actually good looking for a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I don't mind looking like a microphone. However, when you zoom zoom in on me, and you look at my looks, you realize, you know what, Riyad Mahrez is in the building. Yeah, you've mentioned that before. We'll unpack that at some point, you looking like Riyad Mahrez. But I get it. And do you know what? It it don't bother me, but
but it bothers me because I know his personality wise. Yeah. It's somebody else. <laughs> yeah, and that's the twist is being with him that day. It's the first time I've seen him in, because I've met him before, obviously, he did filthy years yeah, ago. Yeah, of course. It's the first time I've seen him with this one person. And personality wise, he's Miles. Like, they have a very, there's like a very clear parallel line that matches those two's personalities. When you think about it, Arsenal. Yeah. Miles is super positive about Arsenal, especially and in groups. Aggressively positive. Yeah. Aggressively positive. Yeah. And if Arsenal do well, if Zach Medley comes into the squad and has a banging game, hmm. Miles' tweet would be Zach Medley's better than Davison Sanchez. 100%. Yeah. And he means it. He, he, does, he yeah. But he tries to pretend that he's People think it. he's not. Yeah, they, exactly. But he's being serious. That's tight. That's very much tight, in a, yeah. In the other way. But we, we shot a video, you'll see the video, and mm. you'll see how Miles thinks mm. he's like, I'm Miles, this mm. is Ty. Go on, Ty, do your Ty thing. But then the second that he fi- he forgets where he is, he turn- they turn into the same person. You'll see it in the video. Tag team partners. So listen, it's not just me that looks like Ty. No, no, it's Miles Miles well. sounds like Ty. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that, if, uh, if I'm sharing with someone, T... I'll take it. We should get him on no rules. I don't think he'd be happy about the shoulder shaking stuff. I thought about it. And you know what also I thought about it as well. Sometimes, like to me, Ty's an uncle. Yeah. So I've got to be respectful. But we'll I'll try and see if he's risked it for a cracker in a different way. Yeah. Because I know if you've got an Arsenal bottle, you've definitely risked it somewhere. But yeah, if not if it's not there, we'll still have we'll have him on no rules, man. No, nobody mm. said darkest man is in a critical condition. That's a very good point, you know. Very good point. Darkest man has got a funny head shape. Yeah, yeah. Because Chunks messaged me the other day about battling darkest man. Right. And straight away I thought, okay, these guys want to battle li- li- bar for bar. And I thought, okay, darkest man, let me zoom in. And wow. I don't even have to click zoom in, T. <laughs> it's just there. Without the hat, it's like the sides go in and out. And then the top ends up going, and I'm like, that could be heady four. <laughs> that could be heady 40. Because you were the original heady. I was the, I was the heady B back heady in the B, day. Yeah. Then we got heady one, we got critical, and now we got heady four, darkest. T, because Beavis and Butthead are now, you know, extinct due to someone in Eaton, I believe that anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try and make a table of heads from the scene. I, ha- I mean, Snoochie oh, Snoo- 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 tried to qualify last week. Really? Well, she tried to say she's got a big head. Oh, right, she did, but <laughs> she did say that. You yeah. can't go in like that. It's how... Yeah, it's all, in the, it's all in the imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Have you got any shortlists? So we've got, we've got critical, heady one. Well, no, let's, let's talk properly, Specs. One more thing. Critical condition. Yeah. Heady's one. Yeah. Uh, darkest heady four. I said we need two more. Miles is in there. It's a tiny little... Yeah, but yeah you need that. You it's need a, that. It's you a need critical that. condition. Yeah, you need yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely yeah. a condition. Uh, <laughs> and we need one more. One more. Listen, people, go and do your research. We need conditions. No, don't give me no T goal because he's six foot six. Give me a proper condition. When you look at it or they take off their hat, it's who threw the rock. Speaking of being six foot six, mm. someone the six foot nine mm. struggled in the snow the other day. Oh, stinker. Chairman. Oh, oh, I called you and I locked you off straight away because. <laughs> no, you, T. You, right, so Chairman is six foot nine. Yeah. And he dropped in the snow, like whilst he was recording. Yeah. So he tried to on. He was on Insta Live, <laughs> talking about he doesn't do this. It's not for him. Now wait, hold on, Tigo. We got to talk about that. People stop going on Insta Lives, pressing live and being like, "Ah, this ain't really for me, you know." Mm. You decided to go live. You're there now. You're there. So let's own the stage. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, chairman's now. I think he did. He on the stage. Well, he tried to try to walk off stage, <laughs> and Wudek, he falls on the floor. Now, now, listen, Felix. I'm sorry, but if you're six foot six and over and you fall, 
it always looks bad because you take too long to fall and get up. Mm-hmm. And everything moves around you. Yep. Ants, snow, you, when trees, Let dogs. me tell you something. When you're tall, you're, you're more careful about not falling over than short people. I believe that. Tigo, if you fall in front of me at any time from mm-hmm. now, yeah. you will be tormented for years. Yeah, I nearly fell on the tube today. If I see T fall and one shoe comes off, <laughs> me, Felix, Greg, and DFR will have a field day. I did, I fell recently. I can't remember when. But do you know why Chairman fell? Try to style it out. Oh yeah, you always have to, you have to. Yeah. You can't be tall and style it out. No, <laughs> it's hard, it's, it's hard, I'm telling you. It's the fucking difficult. Chairman fell because he covered his 400 pound trainers with Tesco carrier bags. No, he didn't. Yes. Do you want me to call him? Do you want me to call him? Go on, yeah, give him a call. You don't believe? That's outrageous. Why doesn't he have trainers to go out in the snow in? Tall guys can't even put their hands in their pocket and get their phones out. It takes too long. Tall guys should be extinct, man. (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, T. I really feel the same about short guys. I know, I know, I know why, I know why Chairman's not answering. Chairman's nap time. Chairman's nap time. Eleven thirty to three. That's not a nap. Every that's day. a sleep. Oh. That's tall giant, giants. That's just, this is they live differently. Five, four, what was five, that five. guy's name? Taco what? Taco four. Yeah. <sighs> seven foot seven. Wait, is he? Is he? No, he's playing now. Oh, he's like swinging on the building. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> It's just, uh, it triggers me because even though no one knows what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, next comment. Specs, I think that workout you were talking about is insanity. It was. Thank yeah. you. What's his it name? It was insanity. That was Hickling Inc. 91. Hickling Inc., man. Love for that. It was insanity. I was thinking, oh, what workout was it where it shows you how to get wedged in a week and you can bar it out? And I remember it was like when I was in college, it was massive. I do remember it, yeah. I nearly done it because of some buff girls in my college that I wanted to impress. It was easy. No, it's easy one to impress me. <laughs> but she had a tash, tash, tash. <laughs> How could she have a six foot nine tash? I was with Zizi the other day as well. Mm. And Dave. Dave. Dave the dog. Dave the dog. Dave the Oh my God. Zizi Mills' dog's called Dave. Yeah. I've nearly forgot. No, we, we, I was with them the other day. Funny, man. Oh, that dog's injection, class. Man. Put it down. <laughs> I would love to see Zizi cry on that, 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 that thing I watched. Next comment is from Priya Pulan. Tigo can dance. I can dance. Tigo, you know when we talk, when you mentioned the word dance, when you did the chicken limbo in Paris. I didn't do a chicken limbo in T, Paris. Like, T, we're not gonna do this. To do the chicken limbo, Felix, <laughs> you need the stick. He's holding the stick himself. <laughs> T, I, was, I was thinking though, we should start a no rule show TikTok. T, I'm the best dancer in Phil. But for. we should, but, but I was saying to DFR before, you need some, see what you can do with rules dancing. Sharky does the, with the bunny and the. Tigo, are you, you asking stuff. me, are you asking me to do a busset challenge? <laughs> I sent you a busset challenge yesterday. Oh, oh, T, you know what? That was a shot because I'd never, is that Tiger Woods' daughter? No. Oh, because uh, like Jordan Tiger Woods, Woods is, uh. Uh, she was the one that allegedly mm. was cheating on one of the Kardashians' is, with, with one of the Kardashians' boyfriends. Tristan Thompson. But now she's with Carl Anthony Towns, a basketball player. Right. She's, she's class. Oh, she, yeah. Uh, obviously, I, I've, I don't relapse no more, but I was very close. I had to really go back to the, the, the critical book because, you know, yeah, I got distracted. Yeah. <laughs> we should do a TikTok. No rule show TikTok. Oh, well, let's start. With I'm, every guest, we do a TikTok. From now? We don't have a guest right now. No, no, oh, T. I could start with you. There's no rules, oh, man. Yeah, we'll do one today. We'll start today. The six foot six wiggle. No rule show mm. on TikTok. At no rule show on TikTok. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, we'll start today. Uh, and finally, mm. Eddie Allsop says, so Specs has five daughters, but ain't got a bed or a wardrobe. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's a, I like that one. Who's, that, who's his name? Eddie what? Eddie Allsop. So is there a rule that says because you have five daughters that you still have to have a bed? Eddie, if you can show me... And I... Probably Loon's trying to do the betting shop again. If <laughs> 70 pound go away with Loon. <laughs> it's 
not worth it. <laughs> you know what they say? Don't do the crime. If not, <laughs> yeah, we need something else to lose. <laughs> not for seventy pound, bro. Don't do it for seventy pound. But yeah, Eddie, listen. There's no rules. I could have ten daughters right now. Why do I need to have a bed? My daughters have a bed. At my place, I don't have a bed. My 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 mattress is on the floor. That is it. If my daughters want to come and stay at my house, Tigo, what have they got to do? Bring their beds with them. <laughs> I don't understand. There's no formula. I don't. See, honestly, I'm, I'm getting a lot of like, a lot of formulas from people. Ah, oh, specs, man. Uh, what was the What was the last one? What was the last one? Yeah, something about. Oh, yeah, you're on Sky Sports, but you ain't got a bed. What? So I have to go. I have a bed to go on Sky Sports. <laughs> what do, like. Remember, I could have a million in the bank and not have a bed. I could go eat in school and not have a bed. I could go sit there with Boris Johnson and not have I could open lockdown right now and not have a bed. What have you done without a bed? You've done a lot without a bed. No, but T, I, this is me. I, I'm not buying a bed again. Get used to Jump on it. Get rid of your beds. Stop to, worrying about the other stuff that I'm doing. The bed ain't going to change. <laughs> it's how I dream. But critical, <laughs> heady one, dark hit, <laughs> mouse... <laughs> Standing in corners by the wall and stuff, that's different to mine. At least I still get to lie down. <laughs> anyway. Airship. All right, you know what it's time for? It's time for Remember Wrestling. Now, uh, it's Royal Rumble this week. Next week, we'll talk about Royal Rumble. Mm. Who knows what's going on? Oh, mm. Edge is back. I saw that on Twitter today. Long jacket. Is- but he came back last year as well. Edge come back again. Yeah, they, you can't come back twice. Mm. It's not really wrestling ish for us. It's double backlash. Yeah. But uh, mm. before we get to WrestleMania, mm. you've been doing Remember Wrestling stuff. That's right, T. Um, so I um, was told by, you know, people watching our rules specs, go and check out The Undertaker and uh, Joe Rogan podcast. Yep. I, I try not to watch Joe Rogan because. He hasn't hollered at me yet. He's had everyone on his show. People that have seen aliens and everything. But he hasn't hollered at me to come there. So I had to watch this one because he's an Undertaker. And T, it was two hours long. So I thought, okay, you know what? Highlights. I need, you know, Mitch, Ian Wright, Tim Z, all these guys to, you know, do the analysis after Undertaker <laughs> talks. So I'm watching the highlights. And T, something really caught my attention. T, Undertaker said, and again, this is not, I'm going to just drop what I remember from the highlights. And I take a said that the reason why uh, he's reti- like he didn't call it a day because no one told him around him, no one around him told him that he's lost his pace. Not even his wife. No one told him. Everyone was basically saying, nah, man, you still got it. So he thought he still had it. He didn't know that he's lost his pace. He didn't know. T, how, how long have I been saying he's lost his pace, T? It's been years, yeah. Undertaker, I mean, I'm sorry, Undertaker. How about it, me, Mark? Mark. <laughs> Mr. Mark, I've been saying you've lost your pace on this show for years now. If you would have just come and just gave me a little view, you would have called it quits <laughs> way before COVID. <laughs> And Misha McCall? That's not cool, not to be honest, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> he did the whole documentary. Last ride. T, come on, man. So that was one of, my, one of the things that caught my attention. The other one was... Um, and it, the, the, oh, the story of how Undertaker went to wrestling is amazing, T. Go on. He moused. He did a mouse. He come filthy Big office. Friend. He came filthy office. Every week... Waiting for Tigo to say, Miles, come on. That's what Undertaker did. Undertaker slept in cars. Miles. Yeah, Miles slept in cars. That room is a car. Cars. That room is a car. He slept in a car <laughs> outside Taser's house. Yeah. Undertaker slept in a car. <laughs> it's Miles. So he moused it to get into wrestling. Um, uh, obviously, he, he mentions that Vincent Mann gives, gives him the name The Undertaker. Um... And T, you remember when you told me Brett the Hitman Hart took Brett the Hitman Hart seriously? Yeah. Hmm. Wait till you meet Mark Calloway. <laughs> Why? 
Do you know what Undertaker said to Joe Rogan? Not in this voice. There's no rules. You know, Joe, when I started being the Undertaker, I decided to stay as the Undertaker even when I wasn't at work <laughs> because I wanted people to believe this character. So I refused every interview. 33 years I did that for. What? So when you went home and your kids asked what's for dinner, you rolled your eyes. <laughs> you had Paul Bear at your house with the FA Cup walking around while she was hoovering. <laughs> I don't think that's what he means. <laughs> T. This is a new thing for you. Why did you keep sitting behind the chair? Six foot eight. <laughs> Tall men need to be extinct. If they're thinking is he like only this. six eight? He's six. He, that's what he said he was. Yeah. All oh, right. So he, he said he was six that. eight. Um. And basically, T. From what I remember, he blames COVID for the stinker of a farewell. <laughs> he could have waited. Of course, Why he waited. He just wait. Of course, of course, we could like. But he was basically, you know, saying when COVID hit, he basically just got lost. But yeah, Undertaker basically is just not even Undertaker. Mark right now is. Trying to go back and just be himself now. Have lost. you fallen out of love with Undertaker? Massively. <laughs> Massively. Uh, did, did Undertaker say that he shaved his hair? He, he quit, yeah? Like to himself, he said, I'm done with wrestling. He shaved his hair. But Vince calling him back. I, t- t- that's nothing as well. I feel like Vince really bullied the Undertaker. from Because I watched the, 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 the interview with Stone Cold. Our Undertaker's been on a few platforms he's been out there, even yeah. eating wings yeah. so type in Undertaker you'll see him on a loads of podcasts you don't be surprised if he's here yeah, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. He's, he's, we'd say be- no we'd say no oh, I have to say no because yeah. you, you want to be everywhere yeah yeah. so you can't come on but everything about Vince was like yeah man I, you know my, my hip was in my hands and I couldn't walk and I was on crutches and I, I, I knew my body was giving up but my head was there and Vince would call me and I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Anytime Vince called Undertaker when Undertaker was resting, he had to go and do what Vince told him to do. You know why? Because when, before Undertaker was born, and I don't mean born in terms of Mark, I'm talking about the character. Mm. Undertaker thought Vince was going to give him the name, the Eggman. <laughs> so what does that mean that he has to... So, Undertaker was preparing to be called the Eggman in wrestling, right? But Vince called him and said, Undertaker. And the, uh, no, uh, um, uh, Undertaker answered the phone and said, who's this? And Vince said, it's the Undertaker. And Undertaker at the time, he's not Undertaker yet. So he's thinking, Undertaker, what's this? But Vince is pretending to be the character that he's given him. Right. So it's the man from the dark side. <laughs> so Undertaker. <laughs> is, that, is that quote? This is what Undertaker's seen on Joe Rogan's thing. Okay. So Undertaker now is improvising. And then Vince says at the end of the convo, that's your character. Undertaker, you fucked. Now this man's going to fucking own you for the next 50 years. Otherwise, you're going to be the Eggman. There, there we go. Your hip's in your hand. But Vince is telling you, you and Goldberg have got to fight in Saudi Arabia <laughs> because of the phone call. You donut. You have no say. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I kind of know what you mean, yeah. So he couldn't, he, couldn't, he couldn't lift up Goldberg because his hip was in his hand. Interesting, Tigo, man. But I'm still, I haven't finished it. It's two hours and 45 minutes long, What Tigo. do you make of Joe Rogan? I like him. That's right. I, I, I like him because he don't say nine. <laughs> he don't say nine. <laughs> the podcast's name but he don't say no. <laughs> there was another guy there. Right. That was basically, he was like, I bought my friend because he's a big wrestling fan. Mm-hmm. He knows more wrestling about me. So him and Undertaker doing one, two, so Undertaker's talking. And oh, Joe Rogan was going, was saying, oh, um, so Undertaker was saying, oh, I had my hip in my hand. You really had your hip in your hands? <laughs> Joe Rogan, 
what? <laughs> if that was me, bring it, let me have a turn. <laughs> and I will dash his hip off oh, as the Undertaker. What are you doing on these podcasts? You don't want me and Undertaker to have a chat. You don't, Tiko, you don't want me and Undertaker to have a chat. You know, what's, ama- you know what's amazing about this is that you've been building up to this for like three years. This Undertaker thing, this whole Mark Calloway's coming, you've been saying Mark Calloway's coming, he's going to replace The Undertaker. Watch, Mark Calloway's coming. You've been saying it. Remember you, when you used to message him on Instagram every day? Of course. Of course. And then the only other person that was following him... Logan Sutton. <laughs> yeah. And then you, I, we asked Logan, Logan Sutton got on this show because he's following The Undertaker. <laughs> Not because of him and who he is. Grime yeah, legend. you're a big DJ. Yeah, we're, we're a grand legend. But you got in this show because you're following Undertaker, Logan. <laughs> And I, that for me, that attracted you to me. That's it. <laughs> so it's coming to fruition. It's getting closer. If COVID wasn't happening, he'd, he'd have come to the UK and someone would have linked you up with Undertaker. Yeah, and now, know, now know. you don't want to meet him. <laughs> but if I had a choice, I'd rather meet the guy that was holding the FA Cup. <laughs> that's, that's for another story. <laughs> if it was my choice. <laughs> holding the FA Cup <laughs> in Michigan. What? <laughs> Why is there a come in Michigan with Paul Bear? <laughs> Arsenal will celebrate winning it five times. <laughs> Paul Bear said it more times than five. <laughs> Let's get into some... No one's news. There it is. <laughs> All right, this one's from theweek.com. The Week is a, like a collection of articles from across the week. It comes out as a magazine. Biden removes Trump's Diet Coke button from the Oval Office. How? Oh, he ain't got no pace. I, I'm sure when I saw Biden, I saw wrinkles galore and slow motion. <laughs> I can't take these guys seriously. I was, even, I, was, I was even saying to myself, when you look at Trump, Biden, Boris, Gordon Brown, like your spirit, my spirit just starts to like, something's not right here. But I always think maybe it's just the looks. Maybe they don't exist, Tigo. Honestly, T. Like, why do I have to believe these people exist? Joe Biden, how can that be somebody? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's been in the public eye for like 50 years or something. T, he ain't been in my public eye. Well, you're not American. No, T, I've typed in a lot of stuff in the, <laughs> with American TV. So what are you saying? What's his suggestion? If I've seen Joe Dundo, I've seen Americans. Um... Diet Coke. Apparently, Donald Trump had a button on his desk. Yeah. Whenever he pressed it, someone would have to come in and bring him a Diet Coke. And he's removed the button. Biden's like, that was foolishness. Get rid of it. What would your button be? Oh, T, that's, T, you're asking me to find gold. That's a very good question, man. <laughs> Thanks. What would my I button... I thought you it coming, but no. I'm the president of the United States of Kenya. <laughs> yeah, that's the place. USK. <laughs> I'll be like, USK. Obviously, Phoenix has been there. And that's why he's got the length trousers and that's the style he took from, from Kenya. And I had a button. A button of my choice. Ooh, a button. Diet Coke. Tea, it's going to have to be beans. <laughs> and mashed potato <laughs> on a plate. It probably would be. Do you know what I mean? Like probably a robot. Why does it have to be a robot? <laughs> Speaking of robot, okay. I just saw a, a trailer of a film, robots attacking people in the woods. Phoenix, what film is that? Oh my God. Tigo, I watched 2021 trailers and there was a film of these people who were fighting robots in the woods. So why would a robot have to bring your beans and mash? Oh yeah, so a robot, ro- so a robot will bring it in with the trailer. There'll be a screen with trailers as well with robot films, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, the robot will bring it, hold the plate up for me, beans. Because I never, le- I'm, I'm a type of guy when I eat beans, I don't like it when the plate's got three or four beans left that are all spaced out. <laughs> beans, why are you social distancing? You were here before this COVID stuff. Come closer, go into my digestive system. Don't act like you don't talk to your food sometimes. <laughs> don't act like when there's the last two pieces of sweet corn when you start talking. Hey, hey, how, what's your name? <laughs> Guys, cut the conversation. <laughs> 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 
Don't act like you don't talk to food, because I do. This next story comes from ABC Action News. A limousine awaited Tiger King outside Texas prison, but Trump didn't pardon him. Remember the lion, ki- the Tiger King? I remember the Tiger King guy. He's, is he out now? He is not. He's asking Joe Biden to give him a pardon now because Trump didn't pardon him. Right. And uh, apparently he had a limousine waiting for him because they thought he was going to get out. As soon as Biden got... Was, well, Trump was supposed to pardon him because yeah. he pardoned Lil Wayne... Kodak oh, Black. pardon means get him out. Okay, yeah. so Biden wants to keep him in. We don't know. We don't know. But Trump, Trump kept him in. So basically, the transactions should still go through. Right? But it didn't. It didn't happen though. It's like if you if you're if you're here for the rest of the day, so I'm going to give you that ten pound later. Then you leave. I'm not getting my ten pound. Mm. You're gone. Nah, but, uh, you know, so he thought Trump was going to pardon him. Mm. Trump left, forgot to pardon him, or was never going to pardon him. Now the new guy's arrived. Pardon who? Tiger King? Trump or one of the, the members of the JFK Association. Have to pardon this man. It's too late now. It's, it's all Biden. No, no. There's, Trump's still a powerful man. Before he was president, he was... He doesn't have the power to pardon. Otherwise, he would be pardoned from his impeachment, which he hasn't been. Secretaries and assistants should still be communicating with other assistants. And if if this is my chair and I pardon people when I'm moving, you no, but no, but he didn't. He didn't pardon him. He didn't even pardon him. He didn't pardon him. Oh, if he forgot, he forgot then. No, but maybe he never wanted to. Maybe he thinks it's time for Joe Exotic to do do time. Joe Exotic just assumes Trump was going to pardon him. The thing is, what if Joe Exotic? What if uh, Donald Trump said to Joe? Or ask Joe, uh, what are you going to do when you come out? And Joe says, I'm going back to them Tigers to start again. <laughs> like on foot manager, I want to build a club from the bottom. Yep. Then Trump's, Trump's thinking, all right, no, you, know, you, need, you need to stay there. Maybe that's the case. But do you know what, Tigo? Am I a Trump supporter? <laughs> that, that didn't ask you that. And oh, the answer oh, is no. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> My Trump supporter. That guy asked you that. <laughs> but but so <laughs> My Trump supporter. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck off. Fucking hell, man. This next story is from the Seattle Times, Seattle mm-hmm. Seahawks. Recompose, the first human composting funeral home in the US is now open for business. Oh, like I could do red cups there and stuff. <laughs> no, no. Somewhere in Kent, tucked anonymously into acres of warehouses and light industrial workshops, the first full service human composting funeral home in the United States is operational. Kent in the United States, obviously. After nearly a decade of planning, research, and fundraising, not to mention a successful campaign to change state law, Recompose is finally converting people into soil. So you can die, and instead of being burnt Mm. or buried, you can be composted. So any nutrients and vitamins and everything in your body can be put into the ground and help to grow plants and stuff. I knew it. Look up. I, ooh, I was saying this. I was saying this. I was saying this to my wife. Every time I watch trailers, <laughs> every year, no, no, every month even, there's a film of zombies attacking. <laughs> and I'm like, all my life, I'm, I'm like zombies, like, and we run out of ideas. I'm sure zombie was even a game. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. I was like, oh, that's getting boring now. The dead coming back to life. And I love zombies. But I think there's something going on around this stuff, man. Obviously, I just don't like the fact that zombies always, go, always got ripped clothes on. <laughs> Put on a nice suit on or something. Looks, looks suave. But, um, nah, man, T, man. I like, I, I like zombies. But, but, but what's that got to do with recomposing bodies and using what, because human what, bodies? Soil? Well, so T, imagine I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Kent. I'm in the Kent in uh, Seattle. And, um, oh, yeah, I need to go for a pee. I run to a little corner, I start peeing. But there, the soil where I'm peeing is the ashes of a dead person. Yeah. 
So they, remember, they're upstairs. Yeah. But the water's on them. You know, there's piss. And then when they come back to tell me, don't piss here. <laughs> it's a zombie attack. <laughs> no, no, seriously. It's a ghost attack. T, like, this is, like, when Geordie came in a group yesterday and was like, you know, Congolese don't do voodoo because of what Zlatan allegedly said. Yeah, you do. The president of Congo, Mabutu, there was two. He hasn't got a twin brother. Do you think right now, Tigo, I'm talking to you right now, no rules. And Tigo comes up here and says, Specs, 10 o'clock tomorrow, I'm seeing two Tigos. I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> do you see where I'm coming from? I don't know what you mean. So, I don't know how it relates to No, zomb- zombie, about. Zombies, ghosts, same thing. You come back from the dead. It's the same thing. I guess so. But obviously, zombies just wear rip clothes, <laughs> and ghosts are transparent. That's, 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 that's the only difference. They're both coming back, both backlash. If Ed comes back at backlash and Stoko come back at backlash, they're both wearing different clothes, different people, but they both still come back. <laughs> One is more backlash than the other. So you think zombies more backlash than No, ghosts? ghost is more backlash, because zombies is a different person. Different, their brains, it's not the same person inside no, the brain. It's, it's, it's just half face, half skull. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they don't have thoughts, like me or you. No, of course they do have thoughts. Zombies. T, I've seen a zombie chase someone. Someone's chain direction, the zombies chain direction. <laughs> that means the zombies change its mind to go another way. <laughs> that's all instinct. That's not thought. Ants, ants don't have thoughts. Do you believe in zombies? Do I believe in zombies? See, no, because the way you're talking to me, you're talking to me, you're, you're, you're really making me scared for my, for my wife, for my long life. <laughs> Do you believe in zombies, Steve? <laughs> that was, yeah, do I believe it? Kind of, yeah. What? I believe that there are there reanimated corpses and stuff, yeah. You're scaring me, man. <laughs> Where's Greg? <laughs> I need to check on you guys, man. I need to check you guys, honestly. I believe that'll happen as well in time. D- DF, you, you, you believe in zombies? What are you, Felix? You believe in zombies? Yeah. You know what, T? I'm gonna have to go and do some research. Yeah, yeah, do, 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 do. What? Yeah, well, let's do the zombie episode. But T, don't make me sleep with the light on, you know. All right, this next story is from Yucatan magazine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Confused, jealous wife stabs her husband after seeing her younger self in old photos. Don't tell me it's those situations where you see yourself when you're young and you're like, I was a painting. I'm dead now. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a mad one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if that's a situation you can relate to. Oh, I, I'm up when I was young. Wow, I was someone's uncle. <laughs> I got better as I, I got better as I got older, man. A woman stabbed her husband several times after thinking she found photos of him with a younger woman. It turns out that she herself was that other woman. Oh, the photo of the couple was taken years ago when they were dating. That's a howler. That's a howler. I think if I should drop this story. Yeah, there's no rules, man. We went Paris. I remember when my missus at the time broke up with me when we went Paris, Tigo. Me and you, Felix, Greg. And we, I, I remember the, the dancers of JD were there. But ironically, one of them knew someone that knew my missus at the time. So they told them that I came with one of the dancers. And the relationship was done right. because of that. But really and truly, I went with Tigo, Felix, and Greg. But I didn't even explain myself because it's an absolute stinker. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Sometimes you can't explain yourself, but you see that there? That's not even, that's like checking your mirrors when your mirrors are on the floor. You're driving, your mirrors are on the floor. You've hit a car, mirrors are dropped off, but you're still trying to check your mirrors. You can't. You weren't even, yeah. There's, There's no mirrors to check. Like yeah. it's, that's a bad call. Um, How did it get resolved? Oh, T. He has to come back as a zombie and get his 
in the Equalize. <laughs> did he die? <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh, about to say. No, I mean, how did your situation get resolved? T, she can go to hell. <laughs> I, I hope. No, this T, I'm serious. I hope now, when she touches the handle of heaven, <laughs> it's hot because that's hell. Let her burn. All right, this last story. And this is one, you'll like this one. It's a bit of a loon story, this. Yeah. It's from the Globe and Mail in Canada. Great Canadian gaming CEO resigns after being charged in Yukon over flying in to get COVID-19 vaccine. Now, I've just realized that this wants me to pay for this story. But the story is that someone who's the CEO of a big casino wanted a COVID vaccine, so flew to another state pretended to be an employee, got their COVID vaccine, and then was arrested and had to admit that they faked being an employee when actually they were a high-powered CEO to get their COVID vaccine. They did all that just to, to get the vaccine because they have to wait, right? Because it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. in ages. Yeah. What's the rush? You're going to get it anyway. BCG in school, Tigo. When I said I'm cute, I didn't want to be first. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to be first. He just wanted it that bad. Just was desperate for it. Because maybe they wanted to hang out at the casino. Now they can't. Look, th- th- again, this is my opinion. Each to their own. And obviously you guys are on my side. So when, when I say each, we're talking about oh, me and you. But if we're talking about beans, if we're talking about sweets, taste, when you get, you know, that for me, you get, uh, what's the word? Uh, when you like something, you get that. What do you call it, man? I was about to say in Arabic. Just let me just use the word fill. Eaten. Yeah? When you get that fill from, because the taste is nice, then you can wash. An injection hurts. The needle has got muscles. You're such a bitch. T, I don't do needles. No one, yeah, only junkies do, but it's something you have to go through in life. No, T, I'm talking like blood test. You what? have to pinch my finger. What is? You can't do this. Yes, you can. You sleep on the floor. What's that got to do with an <laughs> injection? I'm not even talking about injections. Now I'm talking about blood tests. I can't do none of it. Just do, just do part t- piss test, fart test. <laughs> I, I fart in a bucket or I piss in those little tubes. That's the best you're getting from me. Do you know what? If you want, put your little finger in my ear and twist your hand. <laughs> Think of other ways. Don't come with me. Don't come with all this sharp to skin. Sharp to skin. Don't come with all that. My BCG, I only done it because all the Africans in my year was doing it. Yeah? That time you got me, it was in the library. You don't got me. The whole, the whole year was in the library. All right, well done, John Major. You tricked me. Now this is a man that's done research, imagination, fully aware, knows about authors, friends with Neil Kinnock. You can't fool me now. None of, these, none of you guys with green chairs can do that to me. So they, see, that's it. That's Just because of the pain. Huh? Just because of the pain. I don't like the whole... I don't like the whole arena that comes with an injection. I don't like Dexter's jacket. I don't like blue rubber gloves. I don't like when a doctor says to me, so what do you do? But he's breath smelling like Nescafe. I don't like that. You don't have to like it, you just have to go through it. I don't like it, there's the pen, paper, nurses walking around in blue. The smell of plastic and hand sanitizer machines all over the place. And then all of a sudden, someone's on a wheelchair and they're just... I, I don't like arenas of hospitals. That's, that's, that's me. I don't like it. I thought about it every day. I said to, I said to, I said to the wife, I said, if I get knocked over by a car tomorrow, how are you going to get me to go to hospital? Because I think the moment I see, the, you know, the um, stretcher come out in the ambulance van and the yeah. smell in the green uniform, mm. zombie style, 
Specs gets up to the Undertaker and I start attacking the Gullet Law. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to figure this out. Seriously, <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is jabs on both arms season. Huh? I've already told Neil Kinnock that find a way where they can get the vaccine on the nail. Put your little finger in my ear. <laughs> Twist. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Both ears. I'll be all right. It is weird that there's only one way to administer it. You'd think they'd have figured out another way. Suppository. Again, that's an eating word you used. Please. Would you rather a suppository than an injection? What's that? Sleep. What? Okay. In the ass. Nah. I'm scared. Apparently those are the only two ways. No, I'm scared. I'm scared. Suppository and injection. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm s- Listen, the other day I was... I'll keep organic. I don't even care if you guys laugh. I was wiping my bum. You yeah, were wiping. what? Wiping your bum. Sorry. Yeah, wiping. Woom, 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 woom. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah? Up and but down. Something, up and down. Up and down. Yeah, go on. Something was irritating me. Something stuck in between the cheeks. I didn't sit on no concrete. What's going on? So I got the mirror, I turn around. I'm looking, Felix. And there's this ball hanging off my hair. Shit. From 1991. Stuck in between the hairs of my crack. So I'm like, all right, scissors. So... I went and got the scissors, T. And I've cut. Remember, the shit's white. It's gone white. It's turned color now. It's been there for years. It's got gray hair. <laughs> I've cut this gray hair off the bum cheek. But when I'm cutting, the scissor decides, hold on. Let me see what's in this tunnel. <laughs> so the scissor touches the tunnel. You're in control of the scissor. I jogged. I jogged the scissor. <laughs> so T, obviously we will make accidents here. Yeah? So obviously the scissor just like slightly went up the crack here. Yeah? T, my glasses just did the spikes off. My body just electric shock. And you want me to get a needle now? No! <laughs> I don't think getting scissors up the bum is the no, same as getting an injection. If, I don't think it's the same. When scientists say you, your G spot's up your ass, brother, I'll tell you this. you got E, F, G, N, H spot up there, too. Because there's some next feeling. <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> you put scissors up your bum. Because there's shit from 1991 <laughs> hanging <laughs> off hair on my crack. What is that? Is that my fault? <laughs> what is that got to do with See, this is a the problem. G spot and an injection? See, God, God, uh, let me just talk to God for a second. God, you made me. Yeah, you put eyes here. The problem is, I can't see the bum line. <laughs> so I'm unaware. It's only when I'm wiping or I'm sitting down, I'm feeling a certain way. So that's why man's got to do this. I'm not going to get people to do it for me. I've got to do it myself. Obviously, God, you gave me hands. You know, thank God for that. So I can do these things. So T, I had to DIY editing myself. Well, that was no rules show. Ended with some rules. And some scissors. Fucking, what were those scissors doing? <laughs> Thank you for watching and subscribing. Let us know who you want to see on the show. Um, and, yeah. Greg will be back next week. Tigger, what does um, Americans call dummies? Pacifiers. Dad, have you seen my dummies pacifier? That baby what? pacifier. What? Pacifier. What? Googled it. Obviously, I saw it's Americans that use it. Yeah. Because it pacifies kids. It's See. a better name, really. Better name after we've heard soccer and line of scrimmage. <laughs> America, it's time to, to be extinct. <laughs>